All right, guys, everyone has been asking lately, is it the end for Axie Infinity? As you know, SLP has absolutely been crashing to the floor and a lot of people are scared seeing Axie prices go down. So they wanna know, is it the end? So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over what's going terribly wrong for Axie Infinity and what's going absolutely, you know, a little, a little bit of fantastic stuff that people aren't really talking about, right? So. A lot of you guys may know this, but if you don't, in Axe Infinity's Discord, their official Discord, they actually put out news and development updates, letting you know the roadmap and what's coming up. So within my Discord, within the community, um, within the description, you can click on the links. You'll see the link to my Discord here in Axe Announcements. You have all of the official announcements from the Discord here. So they give out things called development updates. And when you click on this beautiful button, what comes up here, guys? an absolutely delicious page that goes over all of the great updates here. So why do some people think it's the end of Axie Infinity? Well, one of the things, as you can see here, is in this development update, we're seeing this beautiful trend here and what's going on here, this blue line going down. Right now, we have more people holding Axies than we do daily average users. The daily average users is not keeping up with the holders. What does that mean? A lot of accounts are buying axes that they don't find viable in arena. So of course, there's not as many people playing as there is axe holders. So it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Another thing that we're seeing is, is SLP continues to crash. So if we go to SLP USD, we recently had a very beautiful thing of, you know, the breeding fees changing. So it costs now, it finally costs more SLP than AXS to breed. However, if you look at this chart here and we go in the past seven days, we had a crazy uptick when the announcement came all the way up to almost five cents. And now we're trending back downwards, starting to see it pick up a bit here. So SLP continues to crash guys. And what's another thing that's really causing people to have fear, uncertainty, doubt about Axie Infinity? And it has to be none other than Titan Arena, guys. This game is letting people, reminding people that there's going to be more new NFT games. And now all of a sudden people are in a situation where they don't know, hey, once these games come out, is it gonna be the end for Axie Infinity? Is everyone going to start playing and jumping into these other games? So with all that being said, how do I feel about Axe Infinity and the trajectory and do I think it can recover? Um, so the one thing I'll say is games like this, they are as they grow bigger and bigger and bigger, they have higher fixed expenses, right? You have to hire more staff. You have to get more funding from these investors. Uh, you have to buy more infrastructure. You have to increase all of your, you know, your servers so you can host more people. Remember guys, when, and if we go to SLP here, when SLP first really started taking off here in around June, July, May time, we had around this time too, SLP was at the moon, but the servers were at the worst place it could be in. You couldn't play games. It was very slow. Again, as SLP started rising, the Ronin Explorer started getting slower. You can make as much transactions. So these are the things that happen when the player base rises faster than the servers can keep up with. But now, as Axie is making those investments in it, they're having higher fixed costs. So they do probably have a certain number a certain amount of player base that they do want to maintain um with all that being said guys i think in my humble opinion ax infinity as long as they can maintain a certain player base will be good but it's probably not as high as they think like i don't think they need the insane amount of growth that they've been doing recently i, I don't think they need to keep increasing um daily active users like from may you're almost around like zero and you hit a million and then you double to two million and you put another million by november i don't know if they need to go that parabolic in the growth um all the way to 100 million 
But I'm going to give you guys, a lot of people who are on the fence about Axe Infinity or don't know if they should jump in or not, I'm going to give you some good sides because we went over the cons. And remember, none of this is a financial advice. So the one thing I'll say right now is... The one thing I'll say about that is... Um, right now, Axie's in a stage where a lot of the money generated and what's really putting pressure on SLP is a lot of money generated is from new players, right? It is from these people that are in the game they're buying axes they're buying the three axes to invest um but in the future that's not going to be how most of the money is generated with an axe and that's not going to be how the economy is dependent so let me ask you a question and by the way guys we're live on twitch we got prince hans in the building keith in the building gia in the building guys a lot of the things that i want to let you guys know about is think about this how does a game like fortnite make money are people spending a thousand dollars on their nft game character and upgrading them throughout the game no most people who are playing fortnite their way they're they're making money the game is the fortnite epic games is it's from people buying skins and people buying battle passes matter of fact around like 20% of people are like just power users and buying all these skins and all these battle passes and really funding epic games and the players are actually earning nothing from spending all this money in it so with that being said right now um right now um axe infinity is building the foundation of the game with all these players buying the assets in the game but when it turns into a freemium model and thank you so much for the tea when it turns into a freemium model in the game then people are gonna really start to make money because axie infinity is gonna generate so much money from people wanting to dress up their axes remember this is like pokemon but in the nft world people are gonna want to change their skin of their axie give their axie a hat give their axie a chain you know make their axie look all fresh and sexy and beautiful like the way skins went crazy absolutely insane in the game of fortnite a similar thing is going to happen within Axie Infinity. And in the free to play version, I'm sure there's going to be five to ten dollar skins you can buy in the free to play. But if you want to buy that skin as an NFT and own it like it's yours, that option is going to be there too. Also, think about the absolutely insane amount of um, invest, sorry, collab and advertising um, opportunity that Axie Infinity has. If you look in a game like Fortnite, what is Fortnite doing that's absolutely insane right now? They have Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Fortnite. Matter of fact, they've had Travis Scott in Fortnite. Maybe, you know, not that <laughs> big of a deal now. They had Ariana Grande in Fortnite. They had Spider-Man in Fortnite. Guys, every time one of these collabs is happening, money is being made, let me tell you that. And literally, um, Axe Infinity is in the absolute situation where they'll make a ton of money from advertisements like this. If you're the most popular game, if you're able to get attention, you will be in a situation to make a lot of money. The other thing I want to say about the pros about Axe Infinity is new NFT games are coming and people are like, oh my god, like <laughs> it's the end of Axe Infinity because there's all these new NFT games like Titan Arena, but Guys, let me ask you a question. How many video games is there now? <laughs> Just cause there's Call of Duty out there, doesn't mean people don't wanna play Gears of War, doesn't mean people wanna play Halo. Most people play around three games probably consistently throughout the week. And to grow the NFT space, you need more successful NFT games. Now, what makes Axe Infinity so powerful is when I think about things like Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Apple Podcasts, not the greatest podcast maybe in the world, but they were one of the first. And because they're first, they have the lead. Same with the App Store. You know, you're, you beat everyone else to the market and all of a sudden you have the lead and you're able to remain and keep the lead guys this is something that happens a lot of times when you are the first mover in any situation you can keep that dominant grip as long as you stay focused and 
one of the things that we're really seeing in Axie Infinity is it is insanely difficult to manage an economy and manage a community. What do I mean by that? <laughs> Go back to this chart here. SLP's at nearly an all time low. It's been around here before in the past, but realistically, the reason why everyone has fear, uncertainty, doubt about Axie Infinity is just because SLP is down. If SLP was up, everyone, no matter what state the game was in, they'd be in absolute great mood because <laughs> SLP is making the money. So when SLP is down, even if the game's at a great place, even if it's really balanced, even if it's the funnest it's ever been, with SLP down, the community is gonna be in a bad place. So managing that, Managing the players' expectations and your community's expectations is relatively hard to do, but Axe Infinity has been around for two plus years. And because of that, they are more proven than a lot of these other different companies trying to do a similar thing. So they're in an absolutely great place. Now, the bad news is if you've read this update, and of course it's available in our Discord in the description box below. You know that land gameplay has got delayed, but guys, the beautiful thing about land gameplay is when it's actually here, it's going to absolutely change the Axie universe. Now, why is that? You know what's, you know what's interesting, guys? What really grows an economy is people spending money within the economy, like a community, right? If I sell fish and you sell pizza, well, now we can both eat fish and pizza because we can sell to each other, right? And that keeps the money within us. We get rich. If every time you get money, you spend it on me and I spend it on you, then we keep the money between us and we get rich. Right now in Axie Infinity, as soon as someone makes an SLP, especially a scholar, there's nothing to really incentivize to spend money within the community on. So what happens because of that? As soon as SLP's in, it's directly out and you're taking it somewhere else. But what if there is more ways within the actual economy in, S in um, Axie Infinity to spend your SLP? And that's what land gameplay will provide. It will provide the crafting, the upgrading, the different ways to spend within the community. And of course, more ways to spend means more ways to earn. So I'm absolutely, you know, in a great place, I think, you know, if I had to put a number to it, I think Axe Infinity has a 40% chance of being here 10 years from now, which doesn't seem high, but for where they are, it's absolutely insane. And that's why I'm investing a bunch of money. Now, again, 40% chance, it's not high for everyone. So of course, it's not financial advice. I wanna go ape in, but I think for me, that's enough because what 40% chance means is if you're one of these people that really builds a great scholarship program, you're someone who really builds a great organization, a discord, you can reap the benefits in a real, real way. Now guys, if you like me doing more of these videos where I kind of break down my thoughts on the Axe Infinity economy and where it's going, um, let me know and I'll do more. But Flight Crew, guess what? We gotta take off. It's been a great, it's been crazy. Like, comment, subscribe, and the Discord is in the description, guys. But anyways, it's been the Flight Crew. We'll see you next time.